everyone. How's everyone doing today? Um, I got some new Indian ink, so I'm prepping it, putting some in a bottle, and I will add water to it um, to use um, on my art journal page today. So I am using gesso right now in prepping my page to get it ready. Um, this is the first time that I've used the ink, Indian inks. Um, I was interested. I've seen some and they look so pretty so I wanted to try them out today. I don't think I added enough ink so I will fix that in the, the future. Um, I took a little stamp that had little um, swirlies and just put it in the wet gesso to try to give it an etched look. Um, and there I'm using the Indian ink um, and using my heating gun to uh, dry it what kind of effect it gives. It was kind of cool. I just don't think I used enough ink. Um, so now I'm using my alcohol ink and I'm just trying to make it a little bit darker and then I will use uh, green as well to do the um, land or the grass. So and I'm using a makeup um, applicator that I got at the dollar store. I love those things. They work really, really well. And then it still wasn't dark enough, so I went over it again with the Indian ink and used the hair dryer to dry it. And I really loved the effect that it had. It kind of um, made like little, looked like salt had been in it actually. And here I'm trying to take a baby wipe and take off some of it, but that did not work. So um, I got just a white acrylic paint and I tried to add water and that didn't work so then I just did it straight up and then that's worked so I, I love the little circles I think that just is cute and then here are the flowers and at first I tried to use just the pad from a Mento pad and that didn't work so then I just put it on um, my parchment paper and then used the uh, little sponge there and used it that way and it worked perfectly that way in here, I'm taking the same swirly circle and just using my Memento um, blue inks and then green inks and just stamping them that way. And I loved, I love that stamp actually. Um, and now I'm using um, my grape jelly Memento and writing the uh, script. I always love doing that on my page. I think everybody does, but I don't know. I kind of like it. And now I'm going to be, um, I cut out a hot air balloon already with a die cutter and I'm using the uh, stamp that goes with it now and um, I got new distressed ink. So I used it, I used black and um, I forgot what they called the lighter color. And then I tried to go over it with my memento and it looked really bad and I did not like that. So I re-stamped it again with the black with the hot air balloon and the basket is like a wheat color I don't remember what it's called so now I'm using my Copic markers to color them in um, along with Sharpie and this is my gold Sharpie um, that I use and then I try to go over it with a brown Sharpie the basket and I didn't like the way that looked and ended up looking I didn't like it so then I re-stamped just the basket part and um, with the cocoa, hot cocoa from Memento. And then I used um, another marker to the Spectrum Nor marker, the um, Earth Brown. I used that to color the basket in. And there's the Sharpie I used. Uh, that's the Earth Brown that I just used in a blender. And... Then um, I was going to use um, a little bit of, uh, there I'm using my uh, New Pit brush pens to give it just a shadow and I'm smudging it, you know, just to shadow, give a shadow effect. I really like those pens as well. And now I am just taking water and going over the... Um, balloon because of the distressed ink um, it's it allowed me to do that and then I'm going to go over it with my um, 
pen, or La Plume, is my water-based pen. And um, I'm just taking, again, a wet brush and just softening the edges and getting that purple in there. There, I'm softening the edges up. And now I'm using matte medium in a little squirt bottle um, with a tip and putting glitter. Yay, glitter. There's um, some of the distressed ink that I got. And I used that to go around the uh, balloon there. And now I'm taking my, men my memento pads and just putting them on here because I'm going to stamp little butterflies in them to cut out. And here I am stamping uh, flowers onto the bottom of the page with a stamp and I'm using green for the stems and then different colors for the flowers. Again, still just stamping flowers. Now I'm taking my pit pens and coloring them in, giving them some shadow. And here I'm cutting out, um, I'm using a punch and cutting out flower shapes with the leftover. And I like that so well, I went ahead and stamped some more um, colors down so that I could use them to make some more flowers. Here I'm putting the hot air balloon together. I'm just going over the edges with the distressed ink. And here I'm gluing it down with the matte medium. The clouds I cut out with the die cutter too that came with the stamp set and uh, using matte medium on that. And then I got these little jeweled um, sequin looking things and I put one in the middle. I thought that looked cute. And here I'm putting a uh, rope down and I used cotton at first I didn't like it and then I just went with my hemp that I had. So and I glued it down with the matte medium. And here I'm gluing the flowers down with the matte medium. I really love that little applicator thing. And here I'm putting the little butterflies down. It makes it so easy to put the small things down like that. And here I'm using my modeling paste to write the word up. And here I'm taking my brown pit pen and just going over, giving some sh high, our shadows around the um, balloon and the clouds. Here I'm taking a cool gray and going over the clouds and the butterflies and, and the words, anything that's up in the sky. I'm using this as um, the shadow to kind of put it into the page. And here I'm taking my pit pens and just highlighting or shadowing um, with a green that's down in the grass area. And now I'm using the cool gray again up at the top. And here I'm using just a the blue pit pen to just kind of go over the edges. And I used green before on the edge down below. And here I've got little glass beads that um, I thought would look cute in the flower center, so I'm using tacky glue to do that. And here I'm just going over the letters, try to make them pop a little bit. And now I'm using um, more lettering that I got today, and I'm spelling out on my way up. 
And the cloud paper, I forgot to say, I just got that out of a book that I tore apart when I made Amanda's journal. And here I'm stamping little, cute little, just hearts around the page. I thought that was cute. And here I, there are little, you know, looks like little flight path. So I'm using yellow for that, for the butterflies. Here I'm adding stems to the flowers. And I have a little saying, and I'm going over it with blue to just set it into the page. And... Here I'm going over the butterflies and, and the flowers with my uh, pit pen that is very ultra fine. It's very thin lines. Just to kind of make them pop a little bit. And now I'm going with my sparkle gel pen and adding some sparkles. And now I'm adding adding highlights with my um, white gel pen. And there I'm trying to use the sparkle gel and it didn't want to work. <laughs> now I'm writing the date and it is finished. Well, that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, art journal page. I loved making it. It was so, so much fun. Um, thanks so much for watching, y'all. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching and supporting me. I hope this inspired y'all. Thanks. <laughs>